two things when you're scoped in. One, I removed all idle sway. Um, I don't know how to remove the the text on the top where it says hold key to steady. Um, hopefully I'll be able to remove that text because now you don't need it anymore. And I also increased the FOV while zoomed in on weapons. And also for the upgraded L96, I removed the variable variable zoom scope. I just made it one one scope only and it's the, the maximum FOV scope because no one ever even uses the other scopes, at least not for zombies, so there's no point having it. And idle sway is not something you need in zombies. I mean, even a game, a multiplayer game like Overwatch doesn't have idle sway. Idle sway is just an annoying mechanic that Call of Duty decided to put on their sniper rifles, so I decided to re remove it. You don't need it at all. It's a ridiculous feature. Now you do get some, well, some of the times you will get like a little bit of idle sway if you're moving while ADS, so there is still somewhat idle sway. It doesn't really look like it's showing up right now, but I've had it before. I guess when you go from jumping into ADS it happens, but whatever. Alright, on to the next change. Alright, so one more new addition to the new weapons is that they now have their pack punch camos working. So I will show that off. Let me get them both upgraded. As you can see, pack punch camos. Very nice. And um, I want to show you guys the PPSH upgraded because the pack punch camo on the PPSH actually looks different. So let me show you guys that real quick. Alright, so the PPSH upgraded. Here we go. Now let me show you guys it in the Pacific Light. It has like this red glow to it. Let's get out of here, zombies. It, it has like an interesting red Hello, hold on. Me... Get away. Okay, there we go. No more mist. It has like a red glow inside of it. I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. I didn't try to do that on purpose, but I kind of like it, so I'm glad that happened. So yeah, there's the new weapons. Now, this weapon doesn't have sounds working because I disabled them for right now, because it takes a lot longer to load the mod when I add sounds, but um... The stoner upgraded, which is called the Stoned 69. Very good name, I know. But its reload sound still doesn't work for some reason, even when I add the sounds onto the mod. So that's still something I need to look at. And also the AK upgraded with the flamethrower. It doesn't show how much ammo is in your clip still. So those are the only two things I have left to do with the weapons. And then the weapons will be completely done. Except for the Kaparis, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to keep it in this mod because the only reason I was going to put it in this mod is if I could replace the PM63 wall buy with it. So I'm going to have to look into that and see if I can do that. But if I can't, then the Kaparis will not be in here. 